Hi, I'm Steve Stedman, and welcome to the short tutorial on using the T-SQL EO month function for calculating the end of a month. Well, with February, end of the month can be challenging to figure out, given today, what's the last day of the month if I want to do some kind of, I don't know, account reconciliation or billing or something like that on the last day of the month. It varies every single month. So what you do is you give use EO month, and you pass in a date, or you can add months to it. You can say, give me the end of the month for January plus three, which would be really asking for the end of month for April. So I'm just going to declare this date time, put in 2012, 11, 10, so November 10th, and I'm going to ask for the end of month for November, which gives us November 30th. Then I'm going to do the same calculation, but I'm going to give it end of month with plus one month in the future. The first one gets us November 30th, and the next one gives us December 31st, because there's 31 days in December. And now if we want to go... Let's, instead of minus one, it's going to do the, go back to October. But let's do plus three, in my math correctly. That will put us into February and calculate 228. And that will keep in account leap year calculations there as well appropriately. 